Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today I have missions two and three of our Game On Online Robot Challenge. So if you want to see both of those missions, stay with me. Okay, so today, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reveal missions two and three of our online robot game challenge called Game On. It's basically kind of helping you guys get ready for this year's replay robot game. So what I'm gonna do today is basically let you know what the missions look like, what the points are worth, and then I'm also going to show you some videos from mission number one. I'm not going to do any leaderboard standings today because I just don't have enough videos in yet. I thought you guys were going to participate, um, but I'll do that for the next time when I hopefully can get missions two and three videos in from you guys. So without further ado, let's go to mission two. Okay, guys. So like before, if you are just joining us, you can print the base. Um, check the description down below for the link on how to print this. But again, you can just use a piece of paper. We don't need to have Mr. Hino's fancy base here. And if you, again, are just joining us, you miss the first mission, which was the hockey or the slap shot mission. So for those of you that have already participated in mission number one, remember again, this is 12 inches apart, at least from base. So you can keep the soccer field here for those of you that have secured this down or maybe you're going to use it just for reference to know where to put the game on skate park. So let me go ahead and show you how I made this um, mission two is going to be called ride the rails. So for those of you that, you know, skateboard. Hey, did you guys know that Mr. Hino skateboards? Check this out. So going ahead and looking at the ride the rails mission here, I'm just going to let you see how I built this model. It was just two picture frames. And then I put uh, colored three hole beams. And then I just put two 15 hole beams at the top. That's basically it. And here's what you're going to do. And this is where the difference in points is going to come in. Let me show you. How I made the skateboard. So it's just a picture frame. And I believe these are sixes. Maybe eights. No, you'll figure out if it's six or eight because the wheels should fit on like that. You don't have to use these for wheels. You can use any gear you want for wheels because the wheels really are not going to make much of a difference here. Okay, everybody. So you're going to decide whether you have the skateboard with you in base, or whether you're gonna have the skateboard. For those of you that have your hockey and soccer field, you can put it right here if you want to line up with the rails. So you can put it right here where the checkerboard is. So let me show you the two ways to score points here on mission two. Let's go with the lower points total here. So if you have the skateboard with you in base, you can have this uh, skateboard be on your robot. What you're basically going to do is place the skateboard on the rails and push the skateboard and the skateboard needs to be east of the rails here. It needs to fall off east of the rails. If you can do that, that's going to be worth 40 points. Okay, so your robot puts the skateboard on there and pushes the skateboard off and the skateboard just needs to be east of the rails if you want more points you're going to have the skateboard again you can put it on the checkerboard but you can line it up so that it's straight with the rails you're going to have the skateboard on the mat here you're going to pick the skateboard up place it on the rails and like we did before, slide it on so that it falls east of the rails here. 
So a couple of things that I'll be looking for in your video that the skateboard does slide along the rail. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, halfway all the way here. As long as I can see that your skateboard's sliding, I'm going to just be checking that the skateboard falls off east of the rails. And that's how you would score your 75 points. So you'll decide whether you put the skateboard here on the mat or if you have the skateboard with you in base. So that's mission two. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section. Okay, everybody, for mission three, it's going to be called Tetherball. And I don't know how many of you played Tetherball in elementary school, but I did. Love Tetherball. So the Tetherball or the playground um, mat here can take the place of the skate park that we just looked at. And let me go ahead and show you how I built the Tetherball uh, model here. So it's just a picture frame. For those of you that have... Let me swing around here. I just attached this gear here so that this can swing or rotate. Oops. So let me get a little closer here so you guys can see how I built this thing. And that's a 12 right there. And I believe that's another 12 coming out of that piece right there. Just so that you're able to see it. I know black is hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let me come back down here. Okay. Now, the tether ball will start out here. Facing east. And then your robot's going to decide you can decide which way your robot comes um, and you can actually come straight through the soccer field if you want but here's what you're gonna do so if you are looking at a clock it's pointing at three o'clock and you're just trying to rotate the tether ball for those of you that know how to play tether ball you're just gonna try to rotate this as much to 360 as you can so let me just get my points paper here so I can remember the points that I said for it. Okay, so if you can rotate the tether ball 360 degrees. So it starts here at 3 o'clock. If you can rotate it. That's ah, really hard to do this holding my phone. If you can rotate it and have it come all the way back to 3 o'clock. That's going to be worth 80 points. Okay. You can basically, with your phone or whatever you're recording, you can just give me an up above shot here to show that it rotated 360 degrees, and that'll be worth 80 points. Okay, what, Mr. Hino, if I don't quite rotate it 108, I'm sorry, 360 degrees, you'll get 50 points. If it passes halfway, so notice halfway would have been over here at 9 o'clock. If it passes halfway, but it doesn't quite go 360 degrees, you will get 50 points. And if your tether ball does get moved, you do move the tether ball, but it doesn't go halfway, you're going to get 20 points. So let's recap that again for anybody who might be confused. The tether ball will start here at 3 o'clock. If you can rotate it a full 360 degrees, you'll get 80 points. If you can rotate this tether ball more than halfway, but not quite 360 degrees, it'll be worth 50 points. And if you move the tether ball just, man, if you just move it one inch, but it doesn't go halfway, so from one degree all the way over here to 179 degrees. It doesn't quite go halfway. That'll be worth 20 points. So that'll be the tetherball mission. Again, like the skate park, if you have a question, throw it down in the comments section. And guys, there is mission two and mission three.
Okay, guys, so there you have it. Missions two and three. I'm still waiting for a lot of you to send me my mission number one. Um, it might be tough, but, I, you know. Anyway, so if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments section to me about missions two and three, okay? Let's go ahead now and take a look at video of those of you that have done mission one, including me. Okay guys, so there you go, mission two and mission three. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy that. Um, it's just a cool thing again to have these missions be related to playing and activities. So give them a shot. I'm waiting for some of you to participate. So again, I'm not gonna do any standings in this video. I'm gonna wait till the next video, but I can't do standings unless you guys send them in. Send those videos again to hinolegorobotics at gmail.com and I can start to put together some standings so you guys get the points you shoot the video again um, send it in one email so you don't have to send all of them at the same time just send all your videos in the same email so I can always just look at that one email to upload all your videos and again try to send me just the raw video and not a YouTube link because again it's hard for me to record the video and then put it into my video so if you can help me with that Okay, guys, so hopefully you're having fun, staying safe, and giving, you know, getting excited for this online robot game challenge. And it's hopefully preparing you for this coming year with replay. So, all right, guys, I'm going to be sitting waiting for your videos, okay? All right, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out.